Let's make a copy of the line, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. Hey guys, welcome back in the another video of collection framework in Java. So in the previous video, we have seen that how we can add a element at a particular index in ArrayList and how we can add a collection uh, inside of ArrayList. So in this video, we are going to see that how we can get the overall size of our ArrayList and uh, how we can remove ele element from ArrayList and how we can clear and or uh, how we can empty ArrayList and how we can check that a particular element is present in the array list or not so let's jump to our editor okay let's create an array list which is empty integer type We created an array list which is num and it's an integer type and inside this array list we add five elements from 0 to 4 <coughs> now uh, uh, now we are going to uh, print the size of this array list as now uh, we have a small amount of data inside of array list like we have only five element of inside of this array list so we are able to calculate the manually in the manual way suppose we have a bunch of data then how we can calculate the size of a list for that we have method which is size inside of a list So this will uh, this will going to print the size of our array list. So let's run the program and see. Okay, so size of L, uh, num is five. Now how we can remove elements from array list? For that we have a method which is remove so in this in that method we need to pass our index value so let's see this let's first remove the element num at we are going to remove the element from 0 to index so we need to pass index inside of the remove method now again we are going to print the list and see that the element is removed or not new array list it's a new num plus num let's run the program and see the output okay let's we need to uh, we are going to print the size after removing the element from the list so that we can check that the element is removed or size is reduced or not size of new num let's run program and see let me paste the output on the screen so that I can define yep. Let me just intend. okay so this is the size before removing the element which is 5 and this is the array list before limit uh, removing the element at the 0th index so here you can see that at the 0th index we have element 0 but here at the 0th index we have 1 it means that we are able to remove element from the array list 
and after removing the element the size of the ArrayList is 4 so in this way we are able to remove the element from ArrayList now we are going to see that how we can check a particular element is present or not inside of ArrayList but so now our uh, new uh, new array list is 1 2 3 4 and i'm going to check that uh, 2 is present or not inside of the array list so how can we do that for that we have a contains method inside of array list uh, wow. mm -hmm. let's let this out and then contains so that we can identify that this it's an output of contains method and let's write our object or array list num and then contains inside of contains we need to pass the value like uh, we are going to check that 2 is present or not and also we are going to see that oh uh, See that the uh, number 5 is present or not okay so in the first line we are checking that 2 is present uh, in our new array list or not or in the second line or at last line um, checking that the 5 element number 5 is present in this new array list or not so let's run program see the output uh, just wait uh, the return type of our, of our contains method is boolean so it will return true or false if element is present it return true true if element is not present it will return false okay so here is our final output or we can say that new output oh. so contains method true and then false because uh, inside our inside of our new array list we have element 2 but we don't have element 5 so that's what the uh, output of this line is false and output of this line is true okay so now we are going to see that how we can clear elements of the array list for that we have a method which is clear let's see just write this out Right, clear so that we can identify that this is the output of our clear method. Just put num and then clear. Let's run. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We need to pass it here. Clear. It's a clone, not it's a easy, it's a clear method. Okay. So now we are going to print, print our final list and see that the element is present inside of list or not. Let's run program. See at last we have empty array list. It means that we are able to successfully remove all elements from the array list. So in this video we have learned that how we can get the size of array list how we can remove element from array list and how we can check that a particular element is present or not and how we can clear the array list so that's it about this video in the next video we are going to see some other things related to collection framework thank you